Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have four new knives to share with you all. Three are from Best Tech. One is from Best Techman. One of them is a brand spanking new release. We're going to go through them really quick and see what we think about them. And all that's going to start right now. This is the Best Tech Slither. Would you look at it? Just look at it in all of its black and redness. My favorite colors, channel colors. Oh yeah, look at that. It is, it looks like a hefty one. And ooh, 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 okay. So you don't have a lanyard hole going through the back, but you do have a very nice lanyard post back here for all you lanyard lovers. So you do have a, a little bit of a G10 backspacer. It is not a reversible deep carry pocket clip, but it is definitely a deep carry clip. We'll see if this affects our ergos here in a minute. Look at that, no mushrooms going into the shade and the clip is inset into the liners. It is relatively strong. You ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, check that out. It's kind of a spay, spay looking blade. Um, I'd like to call them a modified sheep's foot. You can call it whatever you like. Just look at it. All you have to do is just look at it. And I do like the look of this fuller, a little, little bit of aerodynamic, because I want the holes are for in case you're in the wind. <laughs> you don't want to miss your cut. Nice sturdy back on the spine. The spine is not sharp to the touch. You do have a little jimping going on. Jimping is not aggressive, doesn't really grab my skin. We need more jimping, it needs a little more aggression. Here's a look at your texture, a little bit of texture vision. Um, it's relatively smooth. I'd give it about a three. Yeah, I'd say around a three. It's not super grippy. It kind of has that, er -ee, er -ee. but other than that, it's not a grippy one. So there's that side, and here's this side of the blade. And here's something exciting, check this out. 14C28M, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So that is a major plus. Besides the fact that it has a really nice blade shape, we have good blade steel. And they have seven different versions of this knife. You can get the titanium coated blade like this one, or you can also get the satin blade. Now I just measured, and this bad boy from tip to tip is 8.38 inches long. Your blade length is 3.6 inches long. And behind the edge, it's 17 and trails up to 20 thousandths of an inch. So it is slicey. Your blade stock thickness is nice and hefty at 151 thousandths of an inch. Now the weight isn't too bad. It, it's evenly distributed and it's 4.6 ounces. So the finish is very nice, nice and clean. You can see it's milled out on the inside for a little bit of weight reduction. And so one thing I'm noticing right off the bat just would be a nitpick is that the jimping is minimal and you don't really feel it with your fingers. Um, if I put my finger up here in this position, I can kind of feel the one jimp. So giving it the light switch, it does come out with a thaw tie. And, but you know what? This one is really good for the push. Just give it the push, just push button it. Man, it comes flying out and it is very, Smooth, oh, the action is very smooth on this bad boy. And do we have, now see right there, my finger just slipped off, so it does need some jimping. Now how about, um, our plunge grind just kind of disappears all the way down into the heel, so that may or may not be a concern for you when it comes to sharpening. And there is your pass-through. Pass-through is really good, it's comfortable to my hand, I don't have to dig my thumb in there, and we have a really good lockup, and how about centering? Ooh, man, this looks like a working blade. Check that out, we are dead centered. This feels like an, a good, solid, everyday carry work knife. Um, it is absolutely solid. There is no blade play at all. Now for ergos, for all these knives in this video, my hand from here to here is four inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And let's see how this one feels. Just give it a nice, gentle grip. Oh yeah. That is very comfortable. No hot spots. I can't feel that pocket clip at all. So I have a large width hand. If you have extra large width hand, there's plenty of room, plenty of room. Now in the classic grip, it's good. This jimping really serves no purpose. It doesn't help stop my thumb or my finger. And maybe if I held a knife like this, I never hold them like that. So I am locked into place. Um, I can feel when I'm holding it like this, I can feel that pocket clip because you can see how wide, how pronounced it is. This might actually be advantageous if you're wearing some Carhartts or some thicker jeans. It's not going to get in the way of the comfort. It's getting close. It is definitely a warm spot, but not bad. Now the reverse grip, if you're going to be opening some bags of mulch, the reverse grip is very comfortable. So I don't have any issues with that. This one here is also, you're gonna be able to, to do utility cuttings and it's a shorter shorter knife. It's gonna be tougher. And you know, the geometry is not too shabby. So the Best Tech Slither, I like it. I like the color options. The, oh, the action is just very, very smooth, hydraulic. Yeah, this is a good one. These run around 68 bucks. There'll be links to all of these knives in the description.
Now this one is a little fifth pocket carry that I, I'm definitely gonna be carrying in my fifth pocket. This is the Best Tech Strillet. Have you seen this one? Have you already seen it? They have several different colors and they also come in some fancy like Timascus and titanium. And now check this out, are you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> <laughs> you expect the blade to come out here, but it does not. Now look at this. This can be used for so many different things. Now, you know the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this, and then I held it and I was like, oh, oh, wait a second. This would be perfect for opening packages. That is something I do a lot. And then a lot of everyday carry, look, when you have a blade like this, that, that draws everything into the cutting path. This is gonna be great for all tasks, ever, all kinds of everyday carry tasks, things at the office. And you know, I know some folks, uh, I don't know anything about this business, that might be an option. You could definitely open bags of mulch like that. And you could do some utility cutting like this, do a little, oh man, yes. I love sharp little blades like this for doing fine cutting. And also like when I open up a package or a box, I like to hold the blade like this with my thumb, so I only put a little bit of the blade into the package or whatever I'm opening so I don't damage what's inside. It looks quite different when you look at it like this. You're like, really, is that useful or purposeful? Well, they do have some jimping up here. The jimping, I would, in my opinion, needs to be a little more aggressive so it helps lock my thumb into place, but holding it like this to do cuts, this is going to be very, very comfortable. It does hold very well like this, and I kind of like how the Best Tech makes this definitely look like a hawk. This definitely is a fifth pocket carry size knife. It's 3.39 inches from tip to tip going this way. Your blade length is 2.17 inches. Your sharpened length is 1.3 inches long. It only weighs 1.93 ounces. It is super light. And I'm telling you what, if you're a knife collector and you like the looks of this one, this one's orange, it's G10. They have other G10, but the titanium and Timascus Wow, I mean, some of the knives, in, some of these are spectacular. I'll put links where you could go check them out. Here's your, here's your pocket clip. It is not deep carry. That way you can actually get it out of your pocket. Now, as far as pass through, there is no pass through. So you do have to kind of put your thumb in there and then it hits you right here. That keeps you from, you know, don't cut yourself. And it's easy to put away like that. Flippability. Super snappy, oh my goodness. I would say my only thing is it's a little awkward until you get used to it to put your thumb on the inside to close it. But it does keep you from harming yourself. And I don't think, yeah, that's not gonna work. And it does have a very strong lockup. The lockup hits right there and you're, you're not gonna miss. I didn't even barely open it and it locked up. So that is a good thing. Now, for our lockup, uh, we're sad I'd say we're about, what, 30%? And then, I don't know if centering matters on this one, but it is pretty well centered. There's no discernible texture, but you can see it. It's not palpable, but you can look at it. You could just look at it. It uh, I would give it about a two as far as slickness. Now, it does have a nice looking pivot collar. So this is gonna be a great utility knife or whatever purpose that you choose to, to do with it. I kinda like it, it's different. I like getting something different, especially being a knife collector and knife enthusiast. A unique knife to have in your collection. This would be fun to show off. And man, some of those fancy ones would, whoo -hoo, I would love, people would be like, what is that? How do you use that? And then you put your hand Oh, okay, and it fits like a glove. Regular versions of these run around 69. You go check out the links to see all the different versions they have of these. Now here's one I've wanted to check out since its release. This is the Best Tech Ronin. <laughs> Would you look at it? And all of its Ronin-ness, and that, you know, going right in, it does have the same slick G10. It doesn't really give you any grippage, but the ergo so far on these knives has been making up for it. There's your Ooh, okay, all right, oh, all right. So this is a big improvement on the Jimp Jimps. Nice looking thumb studs, and it is not a reversible pocket clip. It is a pretty deep carry clip. It's set into the G10, no screws, no mushrooms growing in the shade. It is a, it's a mid, mid strength pocket clip, not too shabby. And you do have a nice like half length G10 backspacer. I know these come in several different colors. And another nice thing, I do appreciate that they're putting the lanyard pin in the back instead of putting a hole through the knife. It's just too bad that it's not a reversible pocket clip. Let's check out this blade, ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, 
So I'm liking this. I have another knife similar in style to this, but it is not as close as what I was expecting. Now this one here is 7.9 inches overall. Your blade length's 3.3 inches. You're 138 thousandths of an inch for your blade stock. You go from 14 to 15 thousandths behind the edge. So it is slicey. Your weight is 4.32 ounces. And look at this, look at the steel. See, 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 14C28M, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So Primo, not Primo, but as far as budget knives go, 14C28N is hard to beat. You have a very tall, flat grind, and you have chamfered edges up top. I guess you would call that crowned. This is a crossbar lock, and we'll see how the action is here in just a second. You do have room to sharpen before you get up to the plunge grind, which kind of disappears somewhere here in the middle. And there's your best Techman symbol going all the way down. Nothing else to see here. Nothing else to see here. Relatively clean looking knife. Now, the action. How's it feel? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. This, that's the money right there. Ho, ho, ho. Now, easy to use on the thumb stud. Can I? Yes, you can reverse flick it. The action is very good. I have no complaints on the action at all. And this right here is going to be a good one. Getting it out of the pocket, using it, cutting, putting it back in the pocket. Very nice. Now, the Ergos. This grip right here, the hammer grip, super comfortable. I have no hot spots at all. Holding it like this, now that jimping is helping to put, put my thumb in its place and hold it there. So the jimping is good. Now, when I'm holding it in this fashion, I am feeling the pocket clip. It's not hateful. I would call it mildly warm. It's not too bad. It's I'm, I'm not hating on it at all. And you can choke up here and hold it like this if you want to. Now, reverse grip. Oh yeah, super comfortable, zero complaints on that. So this, oh yeah, this is gonna be a good everyday carry EDC work knife in and out of the pocket. I like this, you could do that, make your cuts, put it back. Here's your stop pin, nice strong stop pin, and then here's a look at your lock. Obviously it's gonna be 100% lockup, and the lockup is strong. I'm not getting anything left or right, up, uh, left to right, I'm getting about a one. So it probably needs tightened up and down. I'm getting zero. We have good lockup. Are we centered? It is centered. And look at that nice strong tip. You gotta have a nice tip. You know what I'm saying? Now I did look these up right before I went to make this video and I did find an OD green one that is like half price. I'll put a link for that one down in there. I, in the description, I don't know how long those will last, but I think these normally run around the 60, 62, $63 mark. This is a solid knife. Definitely a good work knife and great steel, good ergos. I'm liking it. And I figure I will get asked this question. So I'm gonna show this next to the CMB Predator because this is the first knife that came to mind when I saw this knife. They are a lot more different than I thought they would be. This one has a taller blade, different blade shape. It has a thicker handle, a different height of, for your handle. And then it is more, it is more slender. This is more slender, more elongated. This is D2 steel, whereas this is 14C28N. And then, you know what? Here's the QSP Penguin if you wanted to see what it looks like next to the Penguin. And while I have these down here, let me go ahead and put out the Best Tech Slither. Just so you can see what these two look like next to the QSP Penguin. Everybody should have a Penguin, right? I haven't been this excited over a fifth pocket knife in a long time. This is the Best Tech Beehive. Not Beehive, Beehive. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This thing is going to get so much pocket time. Look at that. Nice looking pivot collar. And there are a bunch of different colors you can choose from. This is going to fit in anyone's fifth pocket and look at this black and red that's what i'm talking about it does not have a reversible pocket clip no place for a lanyard but you know truthfully you could take this pocket clip off and just drop this this could be a pocket dropper or it is nice that you do have room to grab it these smaller knives like this that you're going to use that are utility you don't want to have to dig down in your pocket to grab it so i have no problem having this you all have heard heard me talk many times any knife that you're going to use for utility or for working you want to be able to get it out of your your pocket very easily. Now check out this blade. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that is wicked looking. Now you might say, dude, uh, I don't like that blade shape or dude, um, what use would I have for that? For an EDC or everyday carry knife, this is going to be more useful than a lot of the blades you might carry. And look at this. Oh, 
The ergos for such a small knife are so good. Now, I do wish that the jimping was a little more aggressive. It's not really stopping my finger a whole lot. It, it is, but it isn't. I can feel it, it is helping. Now, for doing utility cutting, this is going to be a dream. You have a string to cut. All the EDC tasks that you just do when you need a knife to cut something. Open up your, you know, your tactical Twinkie box opener, or maybe you want to tactically open up your Pop-Tart box. This is going to be a package opener, string cutter, and it, it is a recurve blade. And the nice thing about that is it draws things into the center whenever you're cutting. And you know the size of my hand, and these three fingers fit on there perfectly. Huge choil area up here. Look at that. It fits so well in my hand. And I imagine you could do some of this. So you could actually do this if you're cutting open some bags of mulch, as I always say. The slicing, the, the, the ergos on this are fantastic. This is going to be a great little knife. Now, what's the blade steel on this one? 14C 28 in. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And this is the O-Step Hill design. Look at that. So you got 14C 28 in. It's very comfortable in the hand. The ergos are great. Now, when it's open, overall, it's 5.3 inches long. Your cutting length is 1.76 inches long. It's 118 thousandths of an inch for your blade stock, and it only weighs 1.8 ounces. It doesn't even weigh two ounces. And behind the edge is 18 thousandths of an inch. Since these are a new release, I'm pretty sure that they're going to go fast. That usually happens. Usually what happens when a new knife comes out like this, and this one is gonna be so useful. I was telling you earlier about opening packages. The way that this holds in my hand, I'm going to be able to do exactly what I like. See how I put my thumb right here on the top of the spine and I could just have this much of the blade showing just to open and just to cut the package, not to cut what's in the package. This is a spectacular little knife. The jimping, you know, actually does work pretty well. I just, I, I'm all about the aggressive jimping. I can't say enough good about it. You're gonna be able to sharpen this thing forever. There is no plunge grind to be concerned with. So all you have to do is just have, you can use the edge of your sharpening stone, or you can use a broomstick with some sandpaper taped around the broomstick, and you can use that to easily sharpen these up. Some folks are afraid of the recurves, but they are not that bad. They're not that difficult to sharpen up. And plus, this is 14C 28 in, which is so easy to sharpen. And at the time of this video, I think these are running around the 60 mark. I will have links to all of these knives that we've checked out and showed in today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this. These, oh man, Best Tech is making some very solid offerings. I like this one. I like this one. <laughs> I like both of these. I like them all. They were, they will all get pocket time. And I'm really super excited. We've been talking about fifth carry pockets on the channel. These are two new knives to carry in the fifth pocket. And as always, if you want to see size comparisons or learn more about the knives every Friday night. Bees Blades live at the Hive. Oh, right. We have the live at the Hive 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern time on the channel. And you can come and we have the knife cam. We do knife comparisons. We have a lot of fun. We do the pizza check. We do giveaways. Come lurk. You'll find out that it's a lot of fun. It's not knife snobs. It's just people in the knife community, people that love knives and, you know, just love life in general. It's a place where we don't do politics or anything negative. We just hang out for about three, sometimes four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and we just have a lot of fun. So go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you at the live stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.